for now, that's all the torpedoes that I have going at it, I think. Yeah. So we need more. This isn't good enough. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to more Ultimate Abnormal Dreadnoughts, because, well, this is not Ultimate Abnormal Dreadnoughts anymore. Uh, no, after you start editing save files, you can never go back. What I did yesterday was try to have a ship with 500% draft against a ship with 500% beam. The Novgorod, the Russian super battleship, clearly won that one. So today I'm going to try and exploit its weakness by going after it with torpedo boats. The Novgorod is a floating gun platform armed only with quadruple 20 inch turrets. She has, however, no torpedo defenses. So I wonder if I can take down something the size of 322,000 tons with 25 torpedo boats from 1905. So let's throw together a torpedo boat pretty quick. Uh, I'm not really needing any particular specialties on this. Uh, ideally, just a small gun and as many torpedoes as I can fit. Uh, crew training is rather unimportant, speed is unimportant. Uh, displacement can be max 600 tons, so there's not a whole lot that I can do with that. Let's go for a bigger funnel. How am I supposed to fit that? Double torpedo launcher on the stern. What size can we make these? 20, 18 inch. Nah, it's not stellar, but it'll do. I don't have to worry about these things being fast torps or slow torps, because it's a 322,000 ton ship with a turning circle of 3 kilometers. It's not likely to suddenly get out of the way. As for the rest, um, I don't really know. Is it possible for me to add more torpedo launchers onto this thing safely? Just have the bridge there. Put another torpedo launcher here. It's not terrible. What if I make the ship thicker? Ugh, fine. Be like that. Uh, remove the draft. You can only do 600 tons. There you go, fine. Put these things a bit more to the outside so they have ideally some better turning. Although it doesn't really matter. After still 32. This is 7 tons. This is 43 tons. We're going to remove that. And build that up there. Put this here. Whatever. After weight offset 20% is not that bad. Um, at least not for what I'm trying to do with it. Because it doesn't matter how accurate my gun is. I don't think a 2 inch gun is going to do anything at all. So. 25 of these guys against one Novgorod. In case you haven't seen that, it's this. This is Novgorod. Big guy. 329,000 tons, actually. 327,000 uh, tons of which is used. She is crewed by 31,588 veteran sailors. She has a lot of protection in the form of armor belt. Main armor belt, 25, 24, 4... Uh, sorry, 25, 4 belt, 25, aft belt and 25-inch superstructure. So essentially, the ship is very well protected, except for deck armor, and underwater protection, because she has no torpedo belt. She does have anti-flooding 3, and 31,000 sailors, that essentially you can just plug into holes at this point, because we got sailors galore. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. There's the Novgorod. We're going to set everybody to avoid... Or to not avoid collisions, we're going to go right for the target. And I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going to lose a couple, if not most, of my torpedo boats before we even get close. Uh, yeah. Especially if they start one-shotting these things. I mean, it's not likely that they'll do anything but one-shot them. Considering how easy it is to get rid of these things. Oh, she's coming towards me, even. That's even nicer. Oh, not so nice for the fawn, though. 
Because the fawn just got one shot. Now, if it turns out that I don't get close enough... How did you survive? You overpenned? I'm sorry, a 20-inch shell is probably the size of the python. Like, we're firing small torpedo boats at stuff. How did you survive? You didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're probably gonna have to attack this thing from range. I think the torpedo boats is an amusing idea. I just think that they'll all be dead before we even get there. Especially considering that these torpedo boats are very much bunched up and presenting themselves as one pretty large target. Or at least, if you don't hit the success, you might hit... Yep, there you go, the daring. Oh, that actually came pretty close to that ship as well. Range 9-1. We have a torpedo range of only 5. There goes the daring. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... Probably not going to play out well. Dodge! Just... No. Just dodge. It's easy. No, because Novgorod does this thing every 60 seconds. Or every 55, even. 8 kilometers out. Dead. This is pointless. We're going to need to do a different ship. Uh, we're going to give the British a bit more of an advantage. We're going to give them 1940s destroyers. But maybe just... Maybe just 10. Design. This will also make it easier for the enemy to hit me. But that is fine. Because, well, they only need to get lucky once, really. Whether it's a destroyer or a torpedo boat, doesn't matter. Okay, simple tower on the stern. As many torpedo launchers as this thing can house. Launch, 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 launch. Oh shit, we need a funnel, don't we? One big funnel. Uh, turbines. Really, this thing is only going to be a sacrificial torpedo boat. 11 kilometers, 16 kilometers is fine. Anti-flood, I don't think that's going to particularly save you, actually. Main guns. Need one. E yeah. Done. Okay. We have a bit of a four weight of that problem, but I'm not too concerned. Engine efficiency could be a factor. 99%. Excellent. Yeah. I think this is good enough. Let's go. Let's go and take this thing down. It's a big chunker of a battleship. Oh, you're heading the wrong way. Not great. Not great. Have you spotted me? Yes, you have. Oh, you survived? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Not against that. Oh, dude. Wow, it missed? It'll not do that very often, so you better... You better get in there fast. Oh, Yeah, we got a couple of torps off. The Warren just launched a few torpedoes at it. Novgorod is traveling away from us, which is going to make this thing even more difficult. Come on. Come on. Yes, bow launcher away. Ooh. That's a lot of flooding. Forester's dead. 13-7. Crap. I need to catch that thing. There you go. Fortune delivering a set of torpedoes. I'm not even going to set this thing to normal or to, to save because the chances of actually missing that target are pretty slim. What? They're already there? Oh, that must be from the first launch. Okay, so we knocked out rudder. Well, it's happening. It's happening. If this thing starts getting hit by massive volleys of torpedoes, this could... 
could sink it. And as far as the British are concerned, I'm sure they'll mourn the loss of 242 sailors per ship and the loss of 23 million of destroyer. But honestly, you're taking down a ship that's worth 2 billion. So 23 million is about 1%. There goes Lysander. So we got a few more torpedoes about to arrive. Novgorod still has rudder damage, which is probably going to push her turning circle to 6 kilometers or so. She only has an 8% chance to hit. Oh, this is going to be good. Torps here, torps there, torps everywhere. More. Smoke. Do you already have damage instability? No, not that much. But target inside of smoke is minus 25%. I'll take it. Here come the torps. 80% structural. Ship barely cares about the flooding, though. Go on. Punch some holes in this thing. It has absolutely nowhere to go. Boink. Boink. 77% structural. 75. 71. We need more. So Shimakazis could very well sink this thing fairly quickly. 69%, 95% buoyancy. Two engines out. 67, 66. For now, that's all the torpedoes that I have going at it, I think. Yeah. So we need more. This isn't good enough. Hold on, I still got a task force not doing anything? So you guys could be throwing torpedoes and you're not? How disappointing. You guys need to come in as well. Yeah, you're essentially out of this fight because you cannot get back into range. So that means I have effectively three destroyers left. That's not a lot. Um, a very long battleship armed with nothing but torpedoes. Could that do it? It's iffy. There has to be something that can take this thing down. I think the torpedoes are... Well, they're a good step in the right direction, but... Even 24-inch torpedoes, well, it's not that they barely register, but ship doesn't really seem to care. Because it's been hit 29 times, and it's still at 66%. So ideally, we'd need something in the range of 90 to 100 torpedoes to hit. That is, to hit the target. We could get another 12 out of this salvo. Maybe another... 12 out of that. So we'd be well on our way to getting less than 40% structural potentially. But I think I'm going to need more. Especially considering that these DDs well, they just die too quick. Oops, smoke up. At any rate, it's already going better than the attack with the torpedo boats. But then again, these things are a lot more advanced. Here comes the... Yeah, they spread out too much. That's the problem. They spread out too much. This is going to be six, seven hits. One, two, three. Not even six. It's three. And this probably going to be another four, five. She has three engines out of commission, but this thing just refuses to slow down, probably. Twelve knots. No, it is actually slowing down. Another four hits. Some flooding. But she does have anti-flood three and maximum bulkheads. So she's not likely to succumb to flooding anytime soon. No, we're going to need to do a different approach. We're going to need to bring a battleship. Maybe even two. Or... Battle cruisers. Although they have the potential to die extremely quickly. 
this doesn't matter too much. I just need to have as long of a ship as possible. Okay, we're going to go with gas turbines. Uh, range is not important. Speed could be. And I still have quite a lot of room left. Good lord, that takes up a lot of room. I don't have room for that. Give me a lower tier advanced tower. There. That's your superstructure right there. Funnels. Mega funnel. Speed launchers. Okay. So I need to hit them about a hundred times. Ish. Let's first update those to 24 inches. Um... Accuracy could be an issue. And the range, still 14 clicks, so that's good enough. Go, go, gadget, torpedo cruiser. Okay, so I got 2, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 torpedoes per side. It's not half bad. Might be able to make that work. Uh, I need guns. Otherwise, the game is going to complain. That's unlikely. Yeah. Uh, give me a standard barbette. Here. What? There's no... Oh, you gotta go use one of these. Okay, fine. Here. Just to keep the game happy. Can't have an unhappy game, can we? As for the rest, um, I could armor this thing as much as I like, but it's still not going to do anything. It'll still be very dead very quick. What I need to focus on is my ability to turn around. Because if I can turn the ship around, I can then drop torpedoes from the other side as well. And I think that could save me. Briefly. Anti-torp's not important. All the crew, standard quarters. I got 20,000 tons left. I'm not even sure what to put that in. No, why not? Ah, that's more like it. That's more like it. 20 inches superstructure, 20 inch fore belt, aft belt, main belt on a battle cruiser. Okay, battle cruiser. Show me what you got. Show me you can take down the Novgorod. Do so now. Range, 12. Okay. Uh, as many and as accurate as possible, please. Actually, let's just launch before you die. Because you will die. It's just a question of when. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was AP. Come on, Lord Warden and Penelope, get in there. Get in there. No, 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 no. 14 clicks. I got a range of 14-1. These turps travel at 40 knots, so they are definitely faster out than the Novgorod. Oh, yeah, you're going to be dead. Not dead. That's actually... Surprising. Starboard turn. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Start launching torpedoes, Lord Warden. I really, really, really want us to be close enough now. These things just die too fast. That's two and a half billion? Does that mean that the Novgorod is cheaper? You're kidding, right? Yeah, 
Is this battle cruiser because it's traveling at 49 knots so extremely over-engineered that it is more expensive than this monstrosity? Like you're displacing 80,000 tons. This thing is displacing three times that. 95%, 96... Go on. Tell me what we got. What the fuck? How? It must be that speed. This thing costs two and a half billion? And the Novgorod costs two billion. It's the speed. Ah, we got torpedoes in the water. Finally, Penelope has done something useful. Ah, uh, that could do something. But I'm just not sure if I'm going to have a ship left to see what the impact of it is it's going to be. Which is concerning, especially as my ships are now in a line. And if they hit the Warden, or rather if they miss the Penelope, they might hit the Warden. Spread out. Oh, Penelope's down. Lord Warden is next. And my torpedoes will not get to the target. Unfortunate. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Um. I think we need more ships. Retry. Yes. Give me five battle cruisers. We will take this thing down. Now, if I set this thing to 32 knots. Yeah. There you go. 482 million is still an expensive battle cruiser, but gas turbines are just crazy expensive. If you go for something like diesels, you get even more. Yeah, okay, but I suppose that you cannot do 49 knots on diesels. Not really. Can you do it on gear turbines? Close, sir. Turbo electric drive? Absolutely not. 3.1 billion? Like, this thing isn't save file edited. Holy crap. Okay. Um, 35 knots. What else can we throw on this ship that will make her more survivable? Anti-torp. More floatability and more resistance. Because why not have anti-torp 5 on a, <laughs> on a battle cruiser? Whatever this will do. Five of these guys. Come on, big boy. You're going down. Range, 11 clicks. Commence dispensing of torpedoes. Doink, doink, doink. Royal Oak taking a lot of damage. You traveling away? No, you're coming towards me even. That's better. That's a lot better. Uh, you guys, get closer to the target. I don't care if we're in a formation or not. That's one battle cruiser down. Royal Oak, at least send out your turrets. Yes, she did. Nice bouquet of torpedoes there. The Warden is most likely going to be very dead very soon. She just took 3,000 points in damage. And next is the Clyde. Oh god, because of this formation, nobody can launch Torps either. Because we're all getting in each other's way. Ugh. There you go. Uh, Royal Oak, I have some bad news. <laughs> oh well. No survivors. Here we go. Come here, you big chonker of a warship. Have some 24-inch torpedoes. This could be a pretty good hit. How many? 12? 15? Twenty-three. That's better than expected. 
That took down a good amount of their structural. There's the next salvo. You have launched, you have not. Furious has not. Agincourt has not. Lord Warden, get out of the way. Here's the next salvo. Yeah, we're down to 71% structural on the Novgorod. Have some more. 24 more torpedoes slam into the Novgorod. Whoa, flash fire. Nice. That helps. A lot. Uh, you really need to either get out of the way or die. Because then I can launch torpedoes. No, this is a terrible time to start ricocheting 20 inch shells. Hold on, out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you ricochet 20 inch shells with a. No, battlecruiser. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't quite work out. But the ship is down to 43%. Come on, Clyde. Yes. No, not at the Lord Warden. Whoops. Oh, well, we might be able to knock her down to 30%. Yeah, 30%. Serious flooding on Novgorod. Nice work. That's how you kill your allies pretty quick. Oh, boys! No, 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 no. This is not good. This is very not good. Novgorod might go down to, what, 15%? Something to that effect. Go on. Yeah, 15%. Oh, 6%. Structural integrity. Down. Because she just lost another turret. Lord Clyde is down. Novgorod still stubbornly holding. At 6% structural. Furious, if you would like to launch your torpedoes. This would be a fantastic time to do just that. Before you lose whatever capability of launching torpedoes that you have. Go on, idiot. Go on. Because soon I won't have any ships. What is your problem? The thing is right there. We got another two torpedoes. They're down to 5%. Launch. We got them. Another salvo has hit the Novgorod. Oh. Good lord. That was some work. Only the Agincourt is around to witness the destruction of the Russian super battleship. But get this. These things, even at 35 knots, were 500 million a pop. So sinking four battle cruisers like this, the Novgorod still, <laughs> still came out ahead. Holy shit. It's just that the Russian Navy, like all of the Russian Navy was aboard that ship at 31,000 crew. Um, I have lost 8,000, about 9,000 crew members. Holy crap. How many times were you hit by torpedoes? 107 times. So my torpedo estimate about 100 was not far off. But I think the real damage was caused by the flash fires. That takes a large chunk of structural integrity away. So, Novgorod, not unsinkable, uh, but it's a lot of work. It's not easy to take one of these guys down. And as we've seen in the previous video, it was far easier to take down the Repulsive, which was the battleship from the British that had 500% draft. Anyway, um, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoy these wonky little videos. Let me know what your thoughts are, and if you have any further suggestions, then by all means, post those down below in the comments. Just know that I cannot adjust length on a ship. I cannot adjust length. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more videos.